There's only one downside about filming when you share a house with people. You're always absolutely terrified that they'll walk in and you're filming. Or they'll shout and no amount of music can cover it. <laughs> hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today, as you can see, my glasses are off, which means I have a, more of a sit-down, chit-chat kind of video, which means I don't have to do anything but sit here and ramble. I'll try not to ramble on too much because I do that a lot. So I just wanted to come, first of all, and say sorry there wasn't a video up last week. I had a really busy um, kind of weekend or I was away Thursday, Friday and I didn't get back till late Saturday and I usually film either Saturday or Sunday and I just did not feel like filming on Sunday. Also it was kind of due to the fact I had no idea what to film. I was going to film a kind of Valentine's related video but I just kind of thought I, it was poop. A bit more of a serious video today for you guys. I seriously wanted to talk to you about why I love Disney so much. I know it seems like a really random and weird video to film. I was lying in bed one night and it just it just came across to me why do I like Disney more than any other franchise or any other big company? Why is it Disney? And I've got several ideas why I like Disney so much. Some of them are, you know, probably answers that everyone has and then some of them are a little bit deep. So I might get pretty deep and personal here with you guys. <laughs> why do I like Disney? I think most people my age, even if you're not a die-hard Disney fan like me, most people my age and nobody can lie loves a little Disney movie from time to time and I think it's because it's nostalgia for most people because as kids that's what they grew up with. They grew up with Lion King and Monsters Inc and Mary Poppins and sometimes when you feel sick or it's a really like horrible day like today you just kind of want to curl up in bed and be nostalgic and be ha let that inner child out. I think that's mostly why a lot of people like it because you can't say that there's somebody out there who doesn't like a little Disney film and if there is somebody watching this who doesn't like a little Disney film then you have a dead soul <laughs> and that that is one of the reasons why I like it as well going a bit deeper with it as well as I, I don't like watching a lot of new films particularly adult films because most adult films can be quite fast paced and can be quite dark and with my eyesight I miss a lot of that action that happens. Like if some if a main character gets killed, I won't know they've been killed until one of the characters literally says like such and such has been killed or it was really obvious and that kind of kills, no pun intended, the whole feeling and the atmosphere of the, the program. Because when you see someone die you're like, oh, but if you don't see that you don't really get the same effect. With Disney, because I watched Disney as a child, yes I did have eye problems when I was younger but my eyesight was not as half as bad as it is now. I feel that the older I'm getting the worse my sight is getting. And I'll really enjoy it because I remember when I used to watch Disney films. I can't, I can't think of an example. There'll be times when I watch Disney film and there'll be something like really subtle going on, and I, I know it's happening, but I can't see it. But I still know it's happening because when I was younger, I used to watch Disney films over and over and over again. So I pretty much memorized them. I think another reason for my eyesight why I love Disney so much is because. A lot of Disney films are brightly coloured and again for somebody with eye problems like me I love bright colours if you couldn't tell by my lip colour and my jumper and the blue in my hair I just love bright colours. Disney films because they are aimed at children as well are really easy to follow. They have really basic plot lines 
so sometimes I do have a really short attention span and I will zone out and again because of my eyesight sometimes it's not easy to zone out and then zone back in and realise what's going on but with a Disney movie you can almost guarantee you could fall asleep and miss half of the film but you'll still get the gist of it by the end because it's it's so simple and such an easy watch. It's good to put on as background noise as well because again it's your childhood, it's comforting and you don't need to watch the film necessarily to know what's going on because A the movie's so stinking easy you don't really need to pay attention that much or B you've seen the movie a hundred thousand times and you know the story like the back of your hand which is my case most of the time. On a more deeper note why I think I love Disney so much is because I'm emotionally immature for my age and I know I know I'm emotionally immature for my age and I kind of blame that on my eyesight I don't I hate blaming things on my my vision or my disability I don't I don't like doing it but I know for a fact the reason why I'm emotionally immature is because of my eyesight. Growing up in high school I had a lot of mental health problems and because of that I probably didn't get the same socialising as most people through high school. So social, I don't have the same social norms. I'm a little bit behind on the developing scale and socially in that way. I'm not socially awkward. I'm just, you'd expect for a 21 year old to behave in a certain way and sometimes I don't behave in that way because I'm immature and it, you know it might have absolutely nothing to do with my eyesight, it might just be the fact that I am a slow developer and I'm immature but I prefer being immature. I can be mature when I want to be, I just don't enjoy it. I just feel that people who are mature are wishing their life away and it, it's not fun and that's come, that brings me on to kind of like the last part of why I love Disney films so much is because they bring the inner child out in everyone and I totally applaud that, like the saying you're as young as you feel, you can be 50 and just absolutely love Disney films, in fact if you are 50 and you love Disney films then I applaud that, I think that's absolutely great and I don't think there's anything wrong and nobody should ever tell you that you're too old for Disney because that's just lies. No one's ever too old for Disney. If you were too old for Disney then they wouldn't put those like little sly adult jokes in the films. I think Disney is for everyone and I think adults like myself particularly relate to it because it's comforting and that inner child. I also really like Disney and what they stand for. In the movies themselves, you watch, you probably, probably all movies have like a, a theme. Of course all movies have a theme. You know, all movies have a message but for some reason I think the ones in Disney films are just a lot stronger. It's also probably because they are a lot more obvious because they're kids films. But I just like what Disney movies stand for, like Finding Dory, basically the message in that film is regardless of what disabilities you have, if you put your mind to something you can do anything and I think that is a really powerful message to put across to anyone, I mean it's not just kids, I mean definitely for kids because when you're that age you should really put positive uh, thoughts into their head at that young tender age but for somebody like me I love that film because it's just like yeah okay I have eye problems but that doesn't mean I can't do anything everything else that a sighted person can do. So I just feel that the messages in Disney films are particularly strong and comforting. I also, I am, I'm a big dreamer, my head's up in the clouds most of the time. I'm not a realist. In all honesty I can't stand realists. I, I can't be around them for too long. Like People that are like, oh I'm probably gonna feel, mm, it's like, 
I just would rather put myself around positivity and Disney films are like the most positive and uplifting things you can ever get and I love what they stand for, like if you believe in your dreams anything can come true. I can't remember the exact quote but Walt Disney's quote was something like uh, with a little bit of determination and courage your dream can come true as well and I totally believe in that, you know, if you put your mind to something anything is possible and I just think that positivity and that open-mindedness is a great thing to believe in so when you're having a bad day like like for me example I'm I don't have a job just now and I'm kind of in that grey area where I don't know where I'm going with my life and I feel like I have no purpose watching a Disney film or thinking about these things hey I have no purpose right now but I will one day I just have to keep pushing through and I have to keep pushing through because dreams don't happen overnight and you know Disney talks about magic and fairy dust and you have to be realistic to some extent you can't just wake up one morning and expect Tinkerbell to fly in through your window and all your dreams come true you do actually have to chase them down in a nutshell, I think that's one of the reasons why I love Disney so much. I mean, there's there's other reasons as well. I love I love the films. Of course, I love the films. Um, I just think they're really happy, bright films, and there's such a wide range of them, and they're so easy to watch. I've been through all this. <laughs> I'm just repeating myself now, and I also love. It, it, I mean, it, it's not, it goes this deep, but it's also more in a superficial level as well because I love the merchandise for Disney. It's not just a case of this is why I love Disney and that's it because I have Funko Pop figures, I have Simpsons, I have the DVDs. So I like feeling a part of a community as well. I think that is a really important point. Here on YouTube, on Instagram and social media, there is a very strong Disney community and I just find Disney fans are the nicest people you could ever meet. Like when I go to Disney World as well, they're just the nicest and politest people you could ever meet. And I think that community is great and that's another reason why I want to do more Disney videos because I want to start a really good community. I, I do love the Disney community. That's all the reasons why I love Disney. I'm not going to think about it too much because if you start thinking about something too much it starts to not make sense. But I hope you guys have enjoyed this more kind of deeper discussion. I'm sorry if it was a bit of a, a ramble and a whirlwind but I hope it maybe made you feel better if you're watching this and you feel really crap put on a Disney film because it always makes me feel better and just remember Things might be hard just now, but they will get better, I promise. And I'm not in that better area yet. But if you, the biggest challenge is keeping a positive frame of mind. If you try and think positive thoughts and surround yourself with positive thoughts, then things will get better for you, I promise. So I hope you guys are having a nice day and I'll talk to you again soon on my channel and please subscribe and like and all that good stuff and I've really appreciated all of my subscribers as of recently. Every single subscriber I get means the world to me and I just want you guys to know that even though I only have 41 it still means a lot and 41 people that's, that's a lot to me but hey, hope you guys are having an awesome day and I'll talk to you later. Bye.